Over the last decade, Ontario has given out over $130 million to police officers who have been charged of crimes and been suspended with pay. Like, for example, this Toronto police officer whose gun was found at a crime scene and later when his house was raided, they found tons of illegal weapons. He is being suspended with pay. Now, to be fair, this only comes out to about $13 million per year, which is a drop in the bucket when you look at the budget of Ontario. I'm not as upset about the money as I am with the principle of the matter. The fact that a cop can be arrested for a crime and then get to keep their job and get paid is absolutely bonkers to me especially when 35% of those crimes include gender-based violence, 10% of them include impaired driving, and 5% of them include drugs. And while the 453 suspensions represents less than 2% of the police officers currently on duty, it's kind of wild that it's more than 1%. Because if almost 2% of teachers were currently suspended with pay for committing crimes, you all would be curious about why that was allowed. And the median length of time for suspension is 553 days, with some lasting almost a decade. And almost half of all police officers who were convicted of a crime returned to work. Less than 10% were fired, and 11 officers were suspended with pay multiple times over the last decade. And listen, I understand why the police unions are arguing in favor of suspensions with pay, especially when that suspension involves a crime that may have been committed during working hours. We should be waiting and seeing if what the officer did was actually illegal before we fire them. That makes total sense. I would expect the same in other jobs. But if I crashed my car after driving drunk, as a teacher, I would lose my job. There are cops who crash their police cruisers while drunk and get suspended with pay. That is the issue people have with this. And it's not a rampant problem, but the fact that it's happening at all is a concern. And since January of this year, the 83 police officers currently suspended across Ontario have cost taxpayers more than $3.6 million to stay home. And once again, I want to make it clear, I don't really care about the money. I don't think that that's really that big of a deal. It's the principle of the matter that is important to me. I agree with this statement. If an officer is found guilty, they should have to pay that money back, especially if the crime was committed off duty, outside of their job, and has nothing to do with their role as a police officer. Like you want see something that's really wild, more police officers die while on their suspension than are suspended without pay. With about 40% going back to work, 20% resigning, 18% still suspended, and only 6% getting fired. Like, please tell me why this guy deserves to be suspended with pay. Even if you think he should be paid, if he is found guilty, should he not have to pay it back? Does that not make sense? I just, I just can't with this.